Hello everyone, in this video we will go over the solutions to participation uh, number two. For question number one, obviously there are many different ways to express these things. So for example, what is a, a function? Well, uh, the basic definition says that a function is a, is a rule where you have a input which is usually the x values, then you're gonna apply the rule, which is what the function does, and then you're gonna get an output, which are usually the, the y values, okay? <clears throat> so the purpose of this problem was for you to explain to your classmates what you think a function is. So there will be more than one way to express this. The vertical line test is a test where if you have a, a graph and you draw vertical lines and the vertical line touches the graph only once, then it is called a, a function. So it will be a function if all vertical lines touch the graph only once, okay? Now, how is the vertical line test related to the domain? Remember, the domain, uh, which are also what we call input values, so this will be the domain, and the output or y values is also called the, the range. So how is the vertical line test related to the domain? What the vertical line test says is pretty simple. It says that the y values can repeat, for example, this y value and these are the same, but the x values cannot, cannot repeat. So the vertical line test is related to the domain in that in the form. This implies that the x values cannot repeat. So the x values or the domain cannot be repeated. Cannot repeat. If they repeat, then it will not pass the vertical line test, for example. So if you have a graph that does this, notice that the x value is here. This is the y value. This is the y value so you have two different y values for the same x value and notice that it will not not pass the vertical line test so that's the relationship between the main and the vertical line test in question number two all you have to do is uh, substitute the values remember what this notation means f of uh, two there's a typo here this should be just f of minus 2. So this essentially is asking you what is the y value or remember the output if x is equals to minus 2. So this is a short way to say that. What is the y value if x is minus 2? What is the y value uh, if x is 0? is the y value if x is minus 1. Remember the g and y is the same, same thing as f of x and y is the, the same thing. Okay? So therefore for this one all we have to do is pretty much substitute the value for minus 2 in f. So f of minus 2 will be um, minus minus 2 squared plus minus 2. So whatever, whatever you see an x, just put a, the minus 2. Here, you just have to follow the other operations. Remember, this is minus 4 minus 2 because plus and minus becomes plus. Here, minus 2 minus, minus 2 is uh, 4. And then this is plus 3. Now this is minus 4, 
minus 2 plus 3, which is negative 3. And that's it. Is that okay? All right, g of 0, then it will be 0 plus 2 over 7. Now we have to use the function g, which is this one. And this is just 2 over 7. It doesn't have to be a whole number. Now, f of minus 9, this will be minus, minus 9 squared, plus minus 9, plus 3. So, this will be minus uh, 81, minus 9, plus 3, which is uh, minus 90. This part is minus 90, plus 3, so this is minus 87. Now, f of 12, uh, let me change this from f of 12 to g of 12. Uh, you can also do it for f of 12. Actually, I'll, I can do both of them. So, but let me do the g of 12 first. g of 12 will be the following. It will be 12 plus 2 over 7. 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 over 7 is 2. While if you do a f of 12, it will be minus 12 square plus 12 plus 3. So this is minus 144 plus 12 uh, plus 3. And then whatever that is. Now g of minus 1, this will be minus 1 plus 2 over 7, so this will be 1 over 7. And g of minus 3, well, this will be minus 3 plus 2 over 7, which will be minus 1 over 7. And that's it. So all you have to do is, is plug it in. It's pretty, pretty simple. Now, the last question uh, is a graph, so you have to read the graph. And usually, when people say a graph, they think the problem is, is hard. So this is one thing you should remember from, from math. Every time they ask you to read or get information from a graph, this implies that the problems are very, very, very easy, that you will see right now. Okay? Remember what this notation means. This essentially says what is the y value if x is negative 2 okay so then this thing is to scale right here so this is this is correct these are the correct numbers so this is 1 2 3 and so forth minus 1 minus 2 so this is essentially asking you what's the value of y so now you have to focus on f which is this graph when x is negative 2 Notice that when x is negative 2, this is minus 1, minus 2, the value for f or for y is 0. That's it. This one is asking you what is the value of y if x is 0, but you're going to use the g function. x is 0 here, and g, notice, is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And that's it. It's very, very, very simple f of 5, so then you go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 is right here, what is the value of the function here, 2, okay, and that's it, g of negative 4, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, g is this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's it. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching this.